construction program is a hands-on classroom that focuses on residential construction, but teaches all aspects of the uh, construction field, being the residential, the commercial, and the industrial. The things that, that uh, make a student successful is the attendance. It's a very hands-on program, so if they're not here, it's tough to get that material. Uh, their best effort and everything they do and a productive attitude towards learning, uh, responsibility, working, and teamwork. Quite candidly, you expect that they'll meet our expectations. We uh, set the expectations high and give them all the necessary resources to achieve them. In our program, uh, we provide everything that you're going to need. You will need to provide safety boots. Safety glasses are provided, we provide all the materials all the tools that you need. You are able to use your own tools, but uh, the only thing that's not provided will be your safety boot. In our program, it's difficult to get certifications because there's an age requirement. What they do come out with is some IOSHA formalized training that goes with them. They come, we're working on getting pre-licensure, which is 60 hours worth of classes they have to take before they can even take the builder's exam, and then college credit at different places uh, throughout the state. In the class, they'll be involved in an organization called Skills USA. In that, it's a, uh, a hands-on, skilled labor uh, arena for uh, success, learning success skills, and challenging their skills and competing against other students and career centers. Uh, we compete primarily in the areas of carpentry, plumbing, and electrical. And it's just like sports, you compete on a regional level. If you get a qualifying position there, you go to a state level, and if you win at the state, you can go on to the national level. And we've had quite a few national uh, competitors, even the short time we've been working with it. The skills we focus on uh, in our program that they can take with them uh, would transfer across any career that they want to do. We do a lot with problem solving, independent thinking. Uh, we work on the reading, the academic. In the career field, they get exposure to uh, framing, electrical, plumbing, finished carpentry. If it's in a house, they get exposure to it and then realize how that applies to industrial commercial. In the class, we uh, construct a house indoors. It's just like it would be in a normal residential house, except it's done indoors. It's done in one year with the students doing the work. Um, it has working plumbing, has working electric, everything would be the same. The advantage to that is the amount of hands-on contact the students get in a project. In our field for drywall, for example, it takes a year for a person who's qualified to go out and do it on a professional level. However, in class, they get experience doing drywall, hanging the board, working with the materials themselves to realize sometimes it's just what they, they realize they're not interested, but primarily they get a lot more hands-on work with an in-house lab than you would with something on off-site, yet they get the full experience of what it takes to build a house. With the program, the first year is in-house entirely the, the whole year. Second year, after students have decided what areas they want to uh, go in more specifically, they do have the opportunity to go out and do job shadows with employers. Uh, they can do a week long, day long, and we have placed students where they're working four days a week in the field and one day in the class. That's fairly common. In the program, we focus a lot on what do they want to do next. Uh, what's specifically in the area or not in the area of construction. So their next steps would be a logical progression of what we do in class. It could be simply um, going directly into the trades as a skilled labor, going into the trades in an apprenticeship program. It could be getting an associate's degree so they enter in a semi-management level. It can go on and get a bachelor's degree where they're working in construction management within the state or anywhere in the country, sometimes even overseas. Uh, sometimes they just go on to a different career and they're an educated homeowner and a lot of the skills that transfer over um, just to being a productive citizen can be gained in our class. If you're considering construction, I'd like you just to know if you're interested. Not whether you've done it or never done it. That's our job as, as a school and instructors to take care of. But if you're willing to show up and give it uh, a good effort with a proper attitude, we'll give you what you need to do.